Hi everyone. Good morning. The last class we are discussing drawing shapes. Do you remember that? We already learned the shapes: square, circle, rectangle, triangle, like that. Do you remember that? Okay. Now we are going to discuss the perimeter. What is the perimeter? The so many figures are given here. So we have on. We need to find out the perimeter of the given figures. To find out the perimeter, you look at the first figure. This is the square. So peculiarity of one square: the square has four sides. Four sides are equal. So two sides are given here: three centimeter and three centimeter. Then what is the other sides? Also three centimeter, three centimeter. Because square has four sides. That four sides are equal. Then we got all sides. All all sides are three centimeter. So first of all, we have find out the figure one. This is figure one. This is figure two. This is figure three. Then figure one. Perimeter of a figure one. Or to find out the perimeter of a figure one. Find out that. We add these four sides. We can add these four sides. Three plus three plus three plus three. What is the answer? Three plus three, six. Six plus three, six plus three. I'll try this, sir. Add this, sir. Three plus three, three plus three, six. Six plus three, nine. Nine plus three, twelve. At then the perimeter of the figure one is twelve. How to find out the perimeter? We can add these four sides. Understood? Then next the figure two. Figure two. How to find out the figure two? Figure two. This is a triangle. Then these two sides are equal. The one side is different. Four centimeter, four centimeter, five centimeter. Then I have to find out the perimeter of a figure two. Add these three sides. We can add these. Give it three sides. Understood? So four plus four plus five is equal to four plus four, eight. Eight plus five. What is the answer? Eight plus five. Eight plus five, thirteen. So answer is thirteen centimeter. So any figure is given. How to find out the perimeter? We can add all sides. Some of the all sides is called what? Perimeter. Some of the all sides is called perimeter. Understood? The next step. Figure three. Figure three. How to find out the figure three? Figure three. Figure three. How to find out figure three? Add these four sides. This is a rectangle. Rectangle has length and a breadth. Length and a breadth. We already learned the rectangle has four sides. Length and breadth. Two opposite sides are equal. So five centimeter, five centimeter equal. Three centimeter, three centimeter equal. How to find out the perimeter? Add these all sides. So we can add. Five plus five plus three plus three. Five plus five, ten. Five plus five, what is the answer? Ten. Ten plus three. Ten plus three, thirteen. Thirteen plus thirteen plus three, sixteen. So perimeter of the figure three. This rectangle is sixteen centimeter. So we can define the perimeter. The perimeter of any figure is the sum of the length of all sides. Length of all sides. Understood? We can add this all sides length. We got the perimeter of the given figure. Understood? So once again I read the perimeter of any figure is sum of the length of all sides. How to find out the sum? Do the 
addition. Sum of the length of all its sides. Understood? This is the perimeter. Then any figure is given here. How to find out the perimeter? You can find out the sum of all its sides. Then I will draw one, another figure. This is how many sides? 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. This figure is hexagon. Then 2 cm, 2 cm, 2 cm, 2 cm, 4 cm, 4 cm. This is how to find out the perimeter of this figure. We already studied the perimeter of sum of the length of all its sides. So add this all length. 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 4 plus 4. 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 2, 6. 6 plus 2, 8. 8 plus 4, 12. 12 plus 4, 16. Then what is the answer? Perimeter of the hexagon. This side is a 6 sides. This hexagon. So 16 centimeter. Understood. So next we are discussing the perimeter of a square perimeter of a rectangle. So an equation is here. So you should study that. Okay. Perimeter of a square. Perimeter of square. Perimeter of a square. Okay. We already know that the square is also of all sides. This all sides are all sides are equal. So this is 5 cm. All sides are 5 cm. How many sides is here? 4 sides. How many sides? 4 sides. We already know that some of the all length, some of the length of all its sides is called what? A perimeter. Then how to find out the perimeter of a square? Sum of this all side. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. 5 plus 5, 10. 10 plus 5, 15. 15 plus 5, 20. How many, how many fives is here? 4 fives. How many fives is here? 4 fives. We already learned repeated addition is called multiplication. So this is what the 4 fives is here. Our square has 4 sides. So we can write 4 into 5 is equal to 4 into 5. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 equal to 4 into 5 is equal to 20. So we can write perimeter of a square of a square is equal to square has how many sides? 4 sides. 4 into side. So we can write 4 as 4 into side. Side means one side is equal to what? 5. 4 into 5 is equal to 20. This is the equation of a perimeter of a square. How to write? 4 into side. 4s. S means what? That? S means sides. Understood? So, perimeter of the square is equal to 4 into side. Then another one example is here. This is one 4 centimeter. Okay, how to write the perimeter? 4 into side. Side is equal to what? 4. 4 into 4 is equal to 16 centimeter. This way we can find out the perimeter of a square. Understood? So, next we have to study perimeter of a rectangle. Perimeter of a rectangle. Perimeter of a rectangle. We already learned the rectangle has a four sides. Two opposite sides are equal. Length. Length L. Breadth P. This is also length. This is also breadth. How many length is here? Two length. How many breadth is here? Two breadth. This all. Two opposite sides are equal. That is called a Perimeter. So perimeter. Sorry, two opposite sides are equal. It's called a rectangle. So perimeter of a of a rectangle. Perimeter of a rectangle. Perimeter of a rectangle. 
rectangle is equal to we already know that the perimeter is equal sum of the length of all sides so we can add this all sides length plus length plus breadth plus breadth two length and two breadth length plus length how many length is here two length so two l plus how many breadth is here two breadth the short form is b two b then two and two is c so we can write two into l plus b this is the perimeter of a rectangle perimeter of the rectangle equal to two into l plus b two into l plus b this is called a perimeter of a rectangle perimeter of a square is equal to four into one side perimeter of a rectangle equal to two into l into b understood so we can write here is six here is three three centimeter breadth six centimeter length what is the perimeter of this rectangle we already know that the equation 2 into l plus b understood so we can write 2 into l is equal to 6 b is equal to 3 so 6 plus 3 what a 9 so 2 into 9 is equal to 18 understood 6 plus 3 9 9 into 2 what a 18 cm so perimeter of this rectangle is equal to 18 cm the other question is perimeter is equal to 7 cm here is equal to 4 cm how to find out the perimeter of a rectangle length is equal to 7 cm l is equal to 7 cm b is equal to 4 cm perimeter of a rectangle equal to 2 into 7 plus 4 2 into 7 plus 4. What is 2 into 7 plus 4? 7 plus 4 equal to 11. 2 into 11 is equal to 22. Understood? This way we can calculate the perimeter of the rectangle equal to 2 into L plus B. Perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into sides. Okay, so how many questions given in your test book? So we will discuss that questions on your class time. Okay, children. I hope you all are understood this all perimeter. If you have any doubt, we are discussing our class time. Okay, children. Let's wind up the class now. We will catch up later. Bye.